Well, joining us now to discuss whether salvia should be legal are salvia users, 19-year-old Joe Crescenzo. We also have college student David Steenen here with us today. Frank Ramirez is also here. He sells salvia online. Also with us, medical director Dr. Mark Siegel. You know him, of course. And from Los Angeles, executive director of the Wonderland Treatment Center, Dr. Harold Sandler. Doctor, we'll get to you in a second, but Joe, let's start with you, okay? This, this is something, I had never heard of this stuff before, but it seems to be sweeping college campuses and sweeping YouTube. Salvia, what, you take it, you use it. Yeah. What I is mean, it? Um, it's just a, a herb extract from the sage plant, and the sage plant is found in Southeast Asia, and I guess they extract it from this plant and they sell it in stores. Put it in a pot pipe. Here you are smoking it right there. Yeah. So, um... Again, legal. Yeah, it's legal. Start to feel a little bit lightheaded, dizzy. There I am. You know. Whoa! It's that instant? Yeah, it's, it hits Whoa. right away. So you hold it in, and then you let it out within lasts about five to ten minutes. What's it feel like, though? It feels like um, you, you lose control of your, your body movements. You know, you're disoriented, lightheaded. And this um, is fun? Yeah. Well, it's funny to get a, a good reaction out of it. You know, when you're with your friends, and you know, everyone, you get some guy, a new, new guy to try it out, and. He only has a different reaction to it, and it's funny. It's how, long, yeah, how long have you been using? Uh, I've been trying a couple of years now. Would you take it if you didn't have somebody there with you? Uh, no, I wouldn't do that. It's usually a group kind of thing. Because it's funny to watch. Yeah. What is the whole videotaping? Is that part of the, the fun? On YouTube? Yeah. Well, people are posting these videos because it's funny, you know, to watch someone's reaction to the drug. <laughs> and okay, uh, here's, here's a, a this young is somebody man else. <laughs> who's just taken it. But you're... It's just, like, I don't know. A lot of laughing. A, that humor does in college, I guess, don't humor us, us today, because that just looks freaky. Well, everyone's reaction is different, right? So who's doing this? Is it usually the kids that, you know, that smoke pot, or is it the kids that do heavy uh, drugs, or is it just everybody's just think, doing it? I think, you know, anybody can really try it. I mean, it's legal. You can buy it from the stores. That's, right? We'll get into that surprising. in just a second here, but David, why do you use it? Look, Mike, I just want to tell you, first of all, uh, in the intro package you guys have, you have what looks like a crack pipe being smoked. Yeah. Then you have a kid running around like he's insane. Mm -hmm. um, you know, what people do on YouTube is always exaggerated because people want attention. They want those views. There are plenty of people who do it responsibly. And obviously, the only problem is I don't think that people in high school should be doing it. It should be the same as going out to get beers with your friends. You know, 21 age limit. 21 there's, and over. There's no reason you should be able to walk into a smoke shop and buy it as a 10-year-old. That's ridiculous. Well, but, what does it do for you? Um, the first time, it was just a buzz. You know, it's a, a few beers, similar to that. The second time, I took deeper hits. That's what the person I had bought it from told me at the store. It was you a real, suck in. Yeah, you hold it in for 10 seconds. And uh, for a couple minutes, you have like, this cosmic connection. I wasn't doing it to become a YouTube, you know, star or YouTube whore. I'm doing it because it connects you with something greater. And th it's the same reason like people what? look. People in college are looking to experiment with drugs. That's a reality. And this is a chance for people to do it legally and safely. I mean, nobody has ever died from salvia. It's been possible oh, to overdose that's, on. Well, we are going to have a guess that says that that's not true. Well, well it almost but, sounds like there's a spiritual connection for you. Yeah, there definitely is. And if you look online, it used to be used by Mexican shamans. It's a very spiritual drug. Uh, like, I mean, it's, it's a natural herb. It happens to be, uh, it's related to the mint family, so it's related to pepper. This all sounds like it's fun not, and great times. It's not crack cocaine like that pipe in the beginning. You know, it's totally, it's a peaceful, quiet and, mint. And you are in college? Yes. Where do you go to school? Hunter College. And what's your major? Uh, English. And so, writing. and you're, you're, you know, you're yeah, I'm a creative you're writer. Well, you're a creative yeah. writer. Does, does this help you, do you think, with creativity? Oh, it, it doesn't help. It doesn't hurt. I have, a, you know, a good GPA. I'm responsible. Yeah. I don't do it every day because it's not addictive at all. Oh, Dr. Samuels, I hear all the kids going, oh, I want to try that. It's legal. I can go down to the head shop and get me some of that. And it's not addictive at all. Dr. Samuels, what do you think? Well, first of all, um, I'm outraged that we're even on TV discussing, you know, how this drug Given is ideas. not dangerous. I mean, first of all, you know, at Wonderland, at Wonderland, we see so many people that come in that this drug is included in the arsenal of drugs with cocaine, with heroin, with ecstasy, and salvia. All right, now, for anybody to say this drug isn't dangerous, it's got to be smoking something. All right, let's be real. This drug, you need somebody to be there with you in order to smoke this drug because it is dangerous. Could you imagine somebody behind the wheel smoking this drug? And there is no question that there is going to be a major automobile accident. There is no question that this drug cannot be compared to beer. This drug cannot be compared to marijuana. It makes those things look extremely yeah. tame. 
You know, I got to agree you know, with you, Dr. Samuels. And, and, and almost all of you say you really do need a buddy system. You need a friend to watch your behavior after you smoke this. Frank, how can you sell this then online? Well, first of all, I don't just sell this. I actually do research. I've actually been doing this for five and a half years. And you years, use it. And I use it. Now, let me first tell you that before I started using it, my life was in a stagnant state. I dropped out of college as a freshman. I had no direction on where I was going. When I started using Salvia, I'm a responsible person. So I chose to use it in the manner that in which it was to, uh, how I was told to use it. And you're feeling like that's okay because it is illegal. The government has not said, do, do mm, not use this. No. This is illegal. Well, in some arrested. states they have. But when I started using it, I was using it two, three times a week. I started getting connection with myself, with my inner self, with my spiritual self, and my direction changed. I went back into college. I graduated with a bachelor's in theater and arts. Dr. Mark Siegel, uh, internist, NYU Medical School. Um, <sighs> this is the, it kind of sounds like some of the effects of LSD. Does an LSD in some cases induce psychosis? Absolutely, Juliet. I, and I agree with Dr. Samuels. You know, the biggest problem with this is that people think they're maybe getting something like marijuana. They're actually getting something a lot closer to LSD. It can cause right. psychosis. It increases your heart rate, increases your blood pressure, can make you extremely anxious. It's short acting, but it can bring out underlying medical problems. You can end up in a, with a big problem with this. You can end up hospitalized from it. It works on opiate receptors in the brain. This is a very, very powerful drug. And it's not something that you can just say, we use it safely, we use it responsibly.